Sony has just announced that they have bought Bungie for $3.6 billion. Bought. Straight up. Not a partner. Not a publisher. They own them now. As someone with very limited knowledge of the business world of video games other than microtransactions good, which Bungie already has pretty locked down, I have zero idea of the implications of this event on Bungie or on Destiny. I have no clue. Bungie has been on a hiring blitz lately and combined with the complete renovation of their Bellevue office in addition to acquiring more space in said office, the questions of where was all that extra money coming from, is Eververse really doing that well, have potentially been answered. Obviously, this was not a spur-of-the-moment thing. Apparently, it's been in the works for about six months now, according to Chris Dring, who is the head of GamesIndustry.biz, and was not a reactionary thing to the Microsoft Activision or Take-Two and Zynga deals. That shouldn't be too surprising, though. Deals like this do not come together in a couple of weeks. Sony didn't just see the Activision acquisition and go, Oh, uh, we should buy something. That's just ridiculous. So, what does this mean for the Witch Queen? Apparently nothing at all. Nothing is going to change with the Witch Queen according to the FAQ, which makes sense considering Sony likely had very little or nothing to do with its development, although who knows for certain if this deal has been in the works for six months. Bungie also says that their plans for Witch Queen, Lightfall, and The Final Shape, which are the final three expansions of the Light and Dark Saga of Destiny, are unchanged as Bungie is retaining full creative independence for their games and community. It would not surprise me if Bungie had it in the contract somewhere that basically said, look, we got all this fleshed out already. We know what we're doing. If you want to do some stuff after this era of the game is over, then maybe, but don't interfere with this. We got this already. It's all planned out. We got it. Apparently, this statement also extends to future games, but considering we know almost nothing about Bungie's future after the final shape, who really knows? Will the Witch Queen have any platform exclusives? No. Does that mean we could see exclusives on PlayStation going into the future? Maybe, but no announcement has been made about that. And I'd actually be pretty surprised if we ended up seeing any of that at all. An exclusive exotic on PlayStation only, an exclusive strike armor set, you name it. I'd actually be kind of surprised if we ended up seeing that. What about cross-platform stuff? Is any of that going to get messed up? According to Bungie, no. Everything that we have now regarding those social features will be unchanged. In fact, everything else says that basically nothing is going to change at all. Bungie says their future games won't be PlayStation exclusive, no announced seasons, events, packs, or expansions will be changed, no immediate impact on how we'll play Destiny, immediate impact, their words, and for the most part, according to their FAQ, nothing should really be changing at all. I don't know how much I actually believe that, but I feel like Bungie's been in this kind of territory before. You know, they learned what works and what doesn't. So I'm a little more inclined to believe that they've made a good move with this. They get more money to develop the game. Nothing seems to change for the players. It seems too good to be true. Now I'm all for Bungie getting more money to develop the game. That tends to mean good things for us. But I don't think it's good to just blindly go in saying that it's all great and totally nothing bad will happen at all. I understand any skepticism, because we have been conditioned to be skeptical in these conditions. Not just with Destiny or with Bungie, but just in general with games. As I said at the beginning of the video, I have no knowledge of the implications of this transaction. Nothing. Other than what Bungie is telling us is happening, I truly have no idea. Which is why I don't really have any thoughts other than a feeling of cautious optimism. Bungie seems to have the conclusion of this era of the game pretty locked in. It feels like they have a strong plan as to what's going to be happening, and I don't have a ton of worry about Sony interfering with the franchise for the next two to three years. After that era is over, who knows? But we also have zero clue what happens after this era of the game is over anyway, and it would be much more understandable if Sony had more input as to what happens with follow-up games or productions. After all, 
they just spent 3.6 billion dollars clearly they see a strong investment and they're going to want returns on said investment what those returns will end up looking like i don't know no one does Bungie is obviously invested in a phase two of Destiny. They've mentioned this before, and perhaps that's where Sony is going to come in. Television, shows, comics, movies, you know, Sony pictures, Sony television, whatever other mediums that Destiny can be brought to, that's probably where they're going to come in. Otherwise, I don't really know how to feel about all this, but if, you know, employees are stoked or they're hopeful about it, then you know, all right. This is Bungie's third dance with some sort of company. They broke away from Microsoft and they broke away from Activision. So either they've learned literally nothing or they've learned quite a lot. And my money is on the latter. Does this mean we see potentially a Destiny 3 now? Eh, not necessarily. If it does, then it will be as a part of the next era of the game, whatever it ends up being. There's basically no chance we see any sort of Destiny 3 situation for several years if we ever see one at all. Bungie has about two, two and a half years worth of content planned out with the next expansions. There's no room for a Destiny 3 in there. But if they are going to make another Destiny game... And it's not like the Destiny we know right now. I don't think they would call it Destiny 3. They'd probably call it something else because 3 would imply a sequel to 2. And if whatever 3 would be is not a continuation of the game we know today, it probably shouldn't be called 3. So I don't know. That's all I got, really. This stuff is just way too above my pay grade to conceptualize or understand the implications. I don't know. As long as Bungie gets to keep doing what they're doing, you know, I'm cool with it because, you know, they def like, yeah, they definitely need my approval. No one wants to see them dive back into platform exclusive content or anything like that. That's obvious. But uh, for now, you know, it, it seems like it'll be okay. We just got to wait and see if anything happens. But that's it. That's really about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.